Do you know which part of India is called Amazon of the East? Do you know the only region in India where we can get all the seven different species of wildcats? Do you know the beautiful region which consists of exotic flora fauna species? Don't you want to know where is this place? It is none other than India's largest tropical lowland rainforest, Dehing Patkai of Assam. The forest is often referred to as the Amazon of the East for owing to its large area and thick forest. It is the only sanctuary in India which is home to seven different species of wildcats which includes tiger, leopard, clouded leopard, leopard cat, golden cat, jungle cat and marble cat. The sanctuary also recorded 101 species of orchids so far. Eight of the species found here are critically endangered, 15 species are endangered and 5 species are near extension. Dehing Patkai Forest has the distinction of several new orchid records for the region. As being Assamese or Indian, doesn't it make you feel proud? But do you know that the wildlife sanctuary, which is also known as the Amazon of the East, is now in a great danger? Do you know that illegal mining of coal has been carried out since 16 years and now National Board for Wildlife, Shorter, NBWL has permitted Coal India Limited to carry out mining activities in an area of 98.500 hectare in the Hingpatkai Elephant Reserve in Assam. Now, let us know more about this mysterious and diverse region. The Dehing Patkai Wildlife Sanctuary is also known as the Jaipur Rainforest. It is located in the Dibrugar, Tinsukya and Saraitya districts of Assam and a part in Arunachal Pradesh which covers an area of 575 km2 in Assam. Dehing is the name of the river that flows through this forest and Patkai is the hill at the foot of which the sanctuary lies. Being a virgin rainforest, this sanctuary is very rich in biodiversity. The sanctuary is also the home for many flora and fauna. Till date, Dehing Patkai rainforest recorded 47 mammal species, 47 reptile species and 30 butterfly species. The most common mammal species of this sanctuary are Hola Gibbon, Slow Loris, Picked Tailed Macaque, Stamped Tailed Macaque, Capped Lingu, Asian Elephant, Bengal Tiger, Indian Leopard, Chinese Pangolin, Himalayan Black Bear, Himalayan Squirrel, Leopard Cat, Clouded Leopard, Sun Bear, Bucking Deer, etc. Out of which Chinese Pangolin, Flying Fox, Wild Peak, Burking Deer, Gower, Saro, and Malayan Chine Squirrels are real to the region. It is the home for Assamese macaque, which is in the red list of near treated species. The rainforest is also a home of 293 bird species, including summer visitors and winter visitors. Avifauna includes slender billed vulture, white winged duck. Greater Adjutant, Laser Adjutant, Greater Spotted Eagle, Beautiful Nut Hatch, Marsh Babbler, Downy Bristed, and many more. Different trees of this four deer train forest are laden with many exotic species of orchids and bromeliads. There is an abundance of ferns, epiphytes, wild banana, orchids, arums, climbers, and linas in this humid forest habitat. Some of the important tree species found in this forest area are Holang, Mekai, Dhuna, Udyam, Nahar, Holak, Otenga, different species of Dimuru, etc. The towering Holang tree, which is also the state tree of Assam, dominates the emergent layer of this rainforest. The Dihing Patkai forest is one of the most important forests of Assam in terms of orchid diversity. 
the Dihing Patkai Forest region has a rich cultural heritage. There are more than a dozen different ethnic groups living in the area, including the indigenous Assamese communities, particularly Taipake, Kamyang, Kamti, Singfo, Nokte, Ahom, Koiborto, Moran and Motok, Burmese, and non indigenous Nepali people. Besides of having such a diverse and rich flora and fauna, today the rainforest is in a great dancer. If mining of coal continue, the whole ecosystem will get destroyed in the region. As coal mining produces so much sounds, migration will be the only option left for them. Not only that, the coal mining includes issues such as waste management, air and water pollution. Coal mining impure groundwater in numerous ways by drainage of usable water from shallow aquifers, lowering of water levels in adjacent areas and changes in flow direction within aquifers, which will result scarcity of fresh drinking water for the region and for agriculture. Rivers water will also get polluted as coal mining produces many impurities which result in damage of the aqua life in the region. And most importantly, coal mining produces many harmful gases and fly ash which cause air pollution and it may also cause acid rain in the region. Many environmentalists, NGOs and locals are protesting against the decision of National Board for Wildlife for coal mining in Saleki of the Dihin Patgai Elephant Reserve here. Including Jadav Pine, who is also known as the Forest Man of India, who was honored with Padma Shri, which is the fourth highest civilian award in India for planting a forest of an area of 550 hectares. Yes, you heard correct. He had planted an entire forest. After knowing how dangerous it could be for us as well as the wildlife if coal mining continues, don't you want to protest against it? Can we survive without wildlife? Don't more people should know the circumstances and become more aware of this situation? Please share this message as much as you can because we all know safe nature, safe life. Thank you.